The war was stillness. Now everything is busy. In the war, my mind was in suspension, facing the realities that came whipping towards us with acceptance. There was no space for reflection. There was a stillness to the high-speed events of war. There was waiting and there was action. Both the waiting and the action were soaked in tension. It was so damp, so clinging to every moment of life that it became almost welcome. There was a resignation in where we were, what we were doing there, what we were discovering. What got me through it? Disconnect between sound and movement. An ear-splitting explosion was isolated from the gravel and the mud raining down on me, from sharing my rations with a starved civilian. I, I did not think about the cruelty that had forced somebody to be so emaciated. But now, the sound and the movement have caught up to each other. They are creating a horrific harmony. And the clear light is now on the day. All my experiences, all the realities that I saw are synced up. The connotations of what has happened on this earth since 1939 are now fully annotated in my mind. So now everything is busy. But not the good kind of busy. My mind is busy. My mind is busy with a thousand times a thousand sounds, all linked together with a thousand images. My body is busy. It's busy with reverberating the repercussions of sound waves from mortar shells, which have long since faded to nothing. And every one of us that is here, all 196 veterans living here at the Western Counties Health and Occupational Center, in us remains a palimpsest of the horrors that the world is rebuilding from. The world is rebuilding, but are we recovering with it? There is a lot of effort to help us recover. It is the government's prerogative. But more than that, it remains my sole mission. I must find a way to be less busy, for my mind to be less busy, for my hands to stop twitching and shaking without reason or directive. How do I do that? The belief here is to become busy with other things. Other things. To be so busy that I find the stillness that I haven't known since before the war. The focus here is occupational therapy. The learning of skills that may turn into a job. There's the dark room. There's the auto repair shop, the watch repair shop, and the swimming pool. At first, I thought I'd be best suited for the dark room, slowly exposing the photographs by washing them in the acid of the stop bath. I thought it would have connected to my artistic knowledge I had before the war, but the room was too quiet. What surprised me was that the auto repair shop was a better fit. I felt pretty comfortable with the wrenches and the oil, but then somebody dropped a hammer too loud or an engine was started without warning. And before I knew it, I was crouched under a bench waiting for the shell to hit. So if the work doesn't help, come to where we are now.
the cradle of nature. All the buildings look out towards the pond. It is the belief of modern medicine that nature can heal us broken soldiers. Will it? I hope to all that is above me it does. <laughs> I hope so. I need it to. W.E. Saunders. This was for a time his land. Studied the birds here. He defined the natural world that has always been present so that other people can see it, may appreciate it. What did he get from this land? Was he just a documenter or was he getting something out of it? Connection? Inspiration? Healing? That's what I hope for. And if you look closely and listen closely, you'll see that this place is so full of life that to my scale it seems small, but it is significant. All the different species living together as if in harmony. This place is tiny, but there's a huge amount of species living here. Bugs, birds, mammals, reptiles. And even this spot has infinity within it. And I will get to rest here. And here are the universes within universes within universes. And I will get up and listen to the thousand times a thousand lives that inhabit this place. Stillness. Hi, my name is Brianne Curry, and I'm the Director of Programs at Reforest London. Reforest London is an environmental charity that is dedicated to partnering with our community to enhance environmental and human health through the benefits of trees. So in 2019, Reforest London became the proud owners of the Westminster Pond Centre, a beautiful 14-acre parcel right here in the heart of London containing four heritage buildings cultural heritage landscape and right next to London's largest environmentally significant area, Westminster Ponds. Here at the Westminster Pond Centre, we are building an environment and sustainability centre that will be dedicated 
to driving climate action, sustainability, environmental education, and wellness right here in our community and for our region. Here at the Westminster Pond Centre, we are proud to be working with our community partners and our co-tenants to deliver environmental programs, educational programs, and recreational activities for Londoners of all ages. We are delighted to have several environmental organizations as our co-tenants here at the Westminster Pond Centre, including the Thames Talbot Land Trust, London Environmental Network, Nature Conservancy of Canada, as well as other community partners focusing on education and children, including the Thames Valley District School Board and Child Reach. We also have many community organizations who utilize our space to deliver on their missions of educating and involving Londoners in different activities related to climate or the environment. Later this year, Londoners will be invited to participate in community consultation to help us shape the vision for the Westminster Pond Centre. Reforest London has been working hard to restore the site. We have made significant updates to our heating and cooling, including moving to a geothermal system, which means we are off of fossil fuels here at the Westminster Pond Centre. We've also completed major infrastructure upgrades, accessibility upgrades, and technological upgrades. Originally built in 1946, our site is located on what was a former veterans village called the Western Counties Health and Occupational Centre. The village served as a rehabilitation centre and healthcare centre for soldiers that were returning from World War II. In the 1980s, the remaining patients at the centre were moved to Parkwood Hospital and the site became vacant at the time. Over the years, a number of community organisations and businesses have moved into the facility. Since 2010, Reforest London and our partners have been here at the village. In 2015, London Health Sciences Centre began a public divestment process. Reforest London was selected as the community partner to take over the 14 acre parcel of land and the remaining buildings. In the coming years, Londoners will be invited to join us here at the Westminster Pond Centre to participate in all different kinds of programs and activities that are focused on environment, education, recreation, sustainability, and wellness. Even today, Londoners are visiting our site every day to enjoy beautiful hiking trails. You'll also find Londoners fishing, skating, and enjoying the beautiful freshwater ponds right here in the Westminster Ponds ESA.